Hello everyone and welcome to a new topic in Microsoft Excel 2013. Uh, today we will uh, start working on lab number 5. So to finish and complete this lab, you will need two files. You will need Excel lab 5 instructions file and you will need Excel lab 5 starting uh, files. So before we get started, please everyone go ahead and open these two files as we usually do side by side. I will do the same thing. I will open the instructions file and I will open the starting uh, file. Uh, in this lab, basically uh, we will create an application. This application you can use it to calculate the monthly payment for any loan that uh, maybe you might have right now or you will have in the future if you are planning on buying a house if you have a student loan uh, if you are planning on buying a car you can use this application to calculate the amount of interest that you expect to pay the total amount that uh, will cost you uh, to pay off this uh, loan and uh, uh, you we will need some basic information you will need for example the interest rate and so on so items you expect to learn in this uh, lab you will create a loan payment calculator or application uh, we will use the now function also will uh, learn how to insert headers and footers uh, we will use the drop down list in excel uh, we will utilize the payment function create basic formulas uh, uh, basic formulas lock and unlock cells also will learn how to protect a spreadsheet and workbook as well uh, look at the print preview and the uh, preview page break and we will look on how to auto fit a uh, page contents we already did that in previous labs but we will look at it one more time in the instructions here it says uh, please go ahead and open lab 5 starting file we already did we have the file open then save the workbook as lab5 inside document inside a folder that is called MS Excel Labs as we usually do. So I will go to file and then save as and then go to Microsoft Excel Labs and then I will save this uh, file with the name specified in the instructions Excel Lab uh, 5 and then I will choose uh, save it says here enter your first name and last name in the middle section of the header or in the middle of the header section so basically to, to answer this point you need to learn how to use the header and the footer in Excel if you look at the very bottom here of your spreadsheet and the status bar you will see a view that says page layout view if you click on it it will give you access to the header section all right so that is the middle section of the header you will need to come here and type your first name and last name or if you are in the normal normal view here i'll click outside and then go to the normal view uh, if you are in the normal view you can go to the insert tab Let me maximize the window so we can see all of the options and then click on headers and footer basically what happened it will take you to the he header and footer so in the header section I will go back and take this part th this window to the left side I will go ahead and type my first name and my last name and I expect you to do the same thing uh, but your first name and your last name it says here insert a page footer loan services confidential page so you will have three sections in the footer in the first section I expect you to type loan services in the second section or in the middle section confidential and in the right section you type page one look if you are if you have the header open you can click anywhere inside your Excel spreadsheet and then use the down arrow until you reach what until you reach the header section of your uh, of your page it says here click to add footer you have three sections one in the uh, left side one in the middle and one in the right side a 
again you can go also to the insert tab and then if I maximize this window here but because I'm in the uh, footer already I have it inactive but if I click inside the spreadsheet and then click on header and footer and then go to header and footer group here and choose footer I can choose here what I need let me uh, take this one here to the left side so I can see the instructions I need loan services it says here loan services confidential page one right once I do that I already have it as you see or if you don't see it in the footer as I did it right now you do it manually you go to each section and then type the items as I uh, I have it in the solution right now all right now it says insert today's date in cell c6 using the now function so cell c6 is here I will go ahead and uh, put a function here which is called now so any function or formula starts with equals and then I will type now open close parentheses and then enter once I do that I will get the date as you see as you see it 25 June 13 but in your scenario it will be today's date so if you need to change the format it it, it already has the format I am asking you in the instructions but if I click here I can format cells and I can choose a date from the left panel and they choose the date of my choice in this uh, section here but the date is in the right format so I'm not going to change anything uh, it says here select student loan from the list in cell C8 so cell C8 if you go to cell C8 and click on it it says here please select an item from the list and I'm telling you in the instructions you need to choose a student, a student loan so this calculator will be used for a student loan which is the first one then type 30,000 in cell E6 so this is E6 I will type 30,000 and then in the down payment which is E7 you will put a $1,000 as a down payment so basically what is happening here I need to uh, type E7 minus or uh, equals E6 minus E7 in cell E8 so I need to get the loan amount so I will go ahead and delete anything that I see in cell E8 to make sure I have a blank cell and then I will go ahead and start typing the uh, uh, formula in the instructions equals E6 minus E7 can anyone tell me what is happening here I am subtracting the down payment from the market value of the item I am sorry uh, I'm trying to finance so if I do that this is the loan amount I need to get from the bank 29,000 why because the market value is 30,000 I paid 1,000 as down payment so the amount of money I need to get from the bank 29,000 right it says here select 10 percent from the list in cell c10 so i will go to cell c10 and then choose 10 percent which is this one here uh, next you need to specify that the loan period is 10 years so you will go to the loan period and then it choose 10 years from the uh, down list as i i just did right now uh, it says in cell c11 go ahead and type this function which is called the payment function so in which one in cell c11 you need to insert the payment function so if I start with what if I have a function or a formula what do I need to put first yes you are right equal sign and then you need to type PMT because you need to use the payment function once you do that Excel will help you Excel will tell you okay well I know that you need to use the payment I'm going to help you 
So uh, there are arguments that you need to, to provide this function with. The first one is the rate, second one the number of payments, and the last one the present value of your item that you need to finance, student loan, home mortgage, and so on. So the payment function in the instruction, it says use C10 first. So I will type C10. What is C10? C10 is the interest rate. And then I divide that by 12, all right? And then comma. And then I use E10. What is E10? E10 is the loan period. E10. And then I multiply that by 12 to get the monthly payment because I need the number of payments. All right? And then I put comma and then E8. You will notice that there is minus before E8. So to fix this problem, you double click and then go before E8. And then put minus as you see why because I did not pay this amount yet that's why the bank is considering that as money I owe that's why it shows in minus format so basically in cell C11 this is the function I need which is payment C10 divided by 12 comma e10 multiplied by 12 and then comma e10 and then press enter are we clear on this one very good all right now type this function here in cell e11 so you will go to e11 and equals I have a formula here that I need to provide this formula I'm calculating it from uh, scratch so uh, basically I need to open uh, a parenthesis e 10 multiplied by 12 multiplied by c 11 so anyone can anyone tell me what am I trying to do right now C11 is the monthly payment and I'm multiplying that by by 12 and then E10 what is E10 E10 is the loan period so I need to get the expected interest so I'm trying to get all of the payments that I'm paying and then close the parentheses minus minus what e8 as you see in the uh, instructions so once I press enter that gives me the expected interest that I am going to pay all right so now I need to verify my formula so I will double click and then look one more time in cell E11 E11 that's what I expect you to do you need to make sure that you review and look at the correct uh, uh, formula before you continue because most of these calculations are built upon each other so equals open parentheses E10 multiplied by 12 multiplied by C11 and then close the parentheses minus E8 and that's basically what I need in this cell now in cell C13 you will need to put another formula this formula is to calculate the overall uh, cost so basically you will add the money that you put down and the money that you uh, paid throughout the loan time and that will give you the overall uh, cost so now I will type E10 E10 perfect multiplied by 12 
So what is an E10? The loan period. The loan period is 10 years. I need to convert that to month. So that will give, you, give me the uh, number of uh, payments. All right? Now, I need to multiply that by uh, C11. Same thing I did in the previous uh, formula. So what is C11? C11 is the monthly payment. So that will give me all of the payments I am making on that uh, loan. And then I will close the parentheses and then I add E7. What is in E7? E7 is the down payment and that will give me the overall uh, cost. When I, once I press enter, I will have to pay 46000 including the interest on that loan. And look, the loan amount was 29000 so look at the difference between this one and this one. That's how much money you need to pay if you are getting a loan with this value. I hope this will help you in the future. So uh, if you decided to use this calculator in the future, you can come here and then change the name of the item if you'd like, but we are not doing that right now. You can also change the interest loan period interest rate and you can choose the uh, a different down payment and a different market value and that will give you the results but we need to protect this information so in the future if we decided to use this application for a different kind of loan we don't accidentally delete any of the data i have uh, right uh, now so now uh, it says here uh, confirm that all sheets contents are in one page if I go maximize this window and uh, make sure I am in the page layout view you will notice that I have one part that is extended to the next page I need to fix that so if I go to file and then go to print Under print here, I have something that says no scaling. If I choose fit sheet on one page, look what happened. That will fit the sheet in one page, so I can have one page when I print it. But if I don't do that, I will print two pages. So please, everyone, keep that in mind. Look, when I go back to my original view, now I don't have the color that was there when I opened the uh, page layout view and that, uh, that's what I expect you to do to fix and make sure that you have the entire solution in one page so confirm that all sheets uh, contents are in one page and that's exactly what I did right now so please make sure that you watch this section because that might confuse you a little it says here unlock the following cells so basically, I need to select multiple cells, which is cell C6, and then press Control and keep holding Control, and then C7, and then C8, and E6, and E7. So I selected all of them. So what is next? I need to right click on any selected item. If you do it, if you right click outside, you will lose your selection and you will have to select again. But if you right click on the selected item and then I choose format cells, you can click on the protection tab and make sure that all of these cells are locked or unlocked you need to make sure that you remove the check mark from locked and that will make them unlocked as you see in the instructions all right now if i scroll down here it says make sure that cell c11 and 13 e8 and 11 are locked so again you will have to do multiple non-adjacent selection inside your spreadsheet so starting from the first one first make sure that you select anywhere so you deactivate the current selection now read the instructions it says here start from c11 so first you select the first cell without pressing control so i will go to c11 and then after i see, after you select c11 now press and hold control 
and then where is C13? So you go to C13 and then click while you are holding the control key. And then you go to E8. So where is E8? This is E8. And then you go to E11, which is this one here. And then while you are holding the control key. Now I selected all of my items. I go to any selected cell. You make sure that you are in the middle of the cell and then right click. And then it choose format cells and then it choose protection and make sure that there is a check mark beside lock and that will lock these cells. Protect the sheet with the password 123456. So again, if I need to protect this sheet, how do I do that? If you go to the file tab, you can protect the entire workbook or you can protect the current sheet so if I choose protect current sheet it will ask me here for a password one two three four five six and then click OK it will ask you to verify one two three four five six and then click OK again so now if I go to the unlocked cell for example I need to change the customer number for example and I need to put uh, a customer number, I will make up any number, and then press enter, I was able to change it. Why? Because this application is a generic application that you can use for any future uh, loan that you might get from the bank. But if you go to the locked cells and then try to make any changes, look at the error message. Why? Because I locked already these cells. You don't want people to change the formulas that you spend a lot of time to get it any locked cells or to type it any locked cells you cannot make any changes unless you unlock the sheet you go to file and then you go to uh, protect workbook and then you click on unprotect it will ask you for the password so if I type one two three four five six now I am unprotecting, but I don't want you to do that. I'm just showing you how to do it. So I will go back and protect the current worksheet. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then click OK. Now my sheet is protected. Also, one more thing. If you right click on the tab itself, loan services, you can unprotect as I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. Click OK. And if you would like to protect it, you click on, you right click on the sheet and then protect again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then click OK. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then click OK. So now we know how to protect your sheet and you know how to unprotect. All right. Now press Control Delta. You know why do I need you to do that? So I verify that you have the correct functions and formulas. As explained in the instructions, press control, control delta again to go back to the normal view and then save your solution and submit it uh, to uh, Blackboard. I hope you did create your application by watching and following the instructions in this lab. You can use this application in any future uh, loan financing and make an estimate of how long or how much a loan will cost you at the very end that will make you understand the consequences of getting a loan if you think that you can afford paying monthly payments and uh, make the entire total cost at the very end you can get the loan but if you think that you cannot afford paying that much money you can use this application to give you an idea and at this time you will be able to make the right decision uh, thank you for watching and i will see you in the future